Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today I'm just gonna walk around the shop. I was out here cleaning and I found a few things that I've been using for a long time that I really just don't think too much about, uh, but they may be beneficial to your shop. And uh, let's take a look at them. Anything I show you, and if it's relevant, I'll put a link in the description below for it. Uh, if you want, you can go check it out on Amazon. That does help me a little bit, but let's take a look. First thing I want to show you is this uh, cord hider, and I don't know the exact name brand, but I will put it in the link in the description below. Um, this cord hider or cord protector hider, whatever it is, um, I've had this in the shop for three, maybe four years now, and it is still holding up very well. It moves easy enough where you can kick it and still sweep underneath it. It's flexible enough where you can put it in any location you want. And it's very, very strong. And it holds the cable in there nice and tight. Um, you can see all the dust <laughs> how long I've had this. Um, holds the cable in there nice and tight. I don't play around. Uh, it's just a, helps me not trip over this cord. I got one here and one over, um, over by the table saw. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, uh, cables in, or uh, outlets in the middle of the floor, but maybe someday. But these are a good alternative if you don't want to trip over your cords. These things I just made, this out of PVC pipe, uh, just holders for my uh, propane and my map gas. Um, I think it's three inch PVC pipe. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's three inch, but Surprisingly enough, they hold very well. They're a perfect size for these tanks. And I got another one down here for like uh, tips and adapters. Uh, this particular adapter is what I wanted to show you. Um, this actually fits on the gas grill tank. And, or I'm sorry, this fits on the, the grill tank. And then this fits on the map gas or the propane bottle and I can refill this bottle. And it's a lot cheaper doing it that way than buying a whole bottle. There is a video out there that shows you exactly how to do this and I'll try to find that and put a link in the description below. But I'll also put a link in this uh, for this adapter. And I've refilled this bottle, I don't know, seven, eight times already and it works fine and it's still going pretty good. So this little adapter worth this weight in gold. I think it's like six bucks. These things, I think I picked these up at Walmart. Uh, Walmart or Myers, one or the other. Um, these are the perfect size for my owner's manuals for all my tools. And, you know, they fit in there nice and neat. They stay dust free and uh, close up nice and neat. And I just built this little cubby hole to hold these. I've had these up here for a little while now. I don't go to them too often, but when I do get a new tool, I put the books in here and I know exactly where they're at. And it just helps me keep organized. Plus, if I need to reference the owner's manual for any reason, I have them at quick access. This drill bit set is becoming my all-time favorite drill bits. Um, it is a full set of Brad Point bits made by Fish. And let me tell you, man, these bits are very, very sharp, very nice. They are precise. They leave a, fat, a flat hole or a semi-flat hole, and they have a really sharp point at the top. Um, they're a little bit pricey. I kind of splurged on this set because I needed some uh, Brad Point bits in my shop and um, it was one of those things I just didn't want to buy a cheap set and then realize I needed a good set and I'm really glad I bought the more expensive set and this set is perfect has a nice little carrying case um, and it opens up nice and easy it is well worth it this is a uh, 29 piece Brad Point bit uh, from sizes 1 16th to 1 half. And uh, 
it's a good set. All right, I've come over to the drill press because there's a few things here that I want to show you. Uh, and it all just happens to be right here where I'm at. Uh, first of all, can't go wrong with the keyless chuck in your drill press. Uh, that is so nice to have. I had a uh, keyed chuck for a long time, and the key chuck in here was uh, a really large one, so I couldn't even hold small drill bits. And let's face it, I mean, most of the stuff I drill is going to be half inch or smaller, and this keyless chuck has been really nice to have. I did a video on how to change it and also how to make a uh, wedge tool to release these chucks. I'll put a link in the description for down below for that. Also, this um, dust uh, dust tube dust hose thing. This one's uh, more rigid and it kind of holds the shape a little bit better than you know some flex tubes. I got that from Rockler and uh, that just holds up. Most of the time it just sits right there and uh, when and if I actually turn it on it actually collects pretty good. Also while I'm here this eye gauge small uh, square it's been really really nice and it's really accurate. Uh, I just recently had to tilt my table or my uh, drill press table and I used this to get it back into square and it's really nice for stuff like that. Uh, I use it a lot for the table saw to make sure the blade is square. And almost always it's set up like this. Um, I almost never adjust it at all. It's almost always set up ready to go like this. But this eye gauge square is uh, really nice. So over here at the lathe, um, nothing's really changed over here at the lathe. I think for the most part I got... I don't know, everything I need. But anyway, I wanted to show you this one. This is uh, Hunt's Crystal Coat. Uh, it's a liquid friction finish. Um, if you're doing knobs or handles or anything like that, man, you can't really, you cannot beat this. It, uh, you just put it on wet, and then as the lathe is spinning, you just buff it out, and it dries to a hard waxy finish and then you just let it set overnight and it's good to go and i just recently done some uh, wood plane knobs and i'll show you those here in a second and i use this and and the fit and finish of this is really nice so there's the uh the knob that i just done and you use that friction finish on there and it's really nice, nice and smooth, uh, really easy on the hands, and I really like that stuff. It, uh, I'm about out, so I'm going to be ordering some here real soon. So I'll put a link in the description for that uh, Hunt's Crystal finish. I'm sorry, Hunt's Crystal Coat, and then you can check it out for yourself. All right, so I'm going to finish up with a very obvious one. Uh, just having one of these brushes in the shop really makes life a little easier. Um, you can get the dust off the tabletops. That's what I use it for. Um, I find myself at the table saw mostly and just, you know, cleaning the table saw off a lot. Um, you know, air compressor works as well, but having one of these in the shop has uh, been kind of nice. So pick you up one of these. It'll, uh, if you don't have one, you'll wonder why you've never had one. <laughs> uh, so that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, know it's a little off key from what I normally do, but hey, some of this stuff may help you and helps others in the community. So that's why I did it. So that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.